Hey guys, welcome to the next guitar tutorial. So let's dive straight in, let's not waste. I watched a, let's not waste time. You see, I can't even, I'm right now I'm wasting time. Let's just, let's just move on. So um, I watched the guitar tutorial again from my favorite, one of my favorite YouTube channels. There's actually a few of them, uh, but one of them is Paul Davids. I recommend, go check his channel. Brilliant guy, awesome. Uh, love, his, love his tutorials just because um, they give a whole uh, other perspective of guitar and so I went and I looked for something quite challenging go check out his playlist as well he's got different sections different things that he does some acoustic some electric uh, different gear stuff etc but I definitely recommend go look at that so one of his tutorials that I looked at was um, a tutorial in which basically it did this and it sort of made me realize something else cool all right, uh, he, he did this really cool uh, melody whereby he was playing the bass notes and he was adding in the D, all right? And then what he did with was he kept uh, what's called a pedal tone, so which means that you're going uh, back and forward, different notes, but back between the different notes and a same note the whole time, okay? You'll see what I'm saying. And it was a melody, something like this, all right? Uh, no. And the, the whole lesson was that he changes his bass note. So the chords were B, D, and G. You can hear how that sounds already. B minor, B, G. And what he did is he played that on the bass notes. And something in, in all three of those chords is D. So which means that I can play... Uh, the D as a pedal tone and I can play the bass note so. and then what he taught which I found very interesting is that he added in the third he actually added in so if you're playing the bass note or the root note on top your third we found on the G string right there so E G A the third being C sharp, which is there. All right, A, B, C, C sharp. And so that's the third. And wherever you go, whichever bass root note you're playing on your top E string, your third is always going to be found there on your, on your, on your uh, G string. So what he did was this. Now, obviously, looking within that key that he was playing, uh, the B was, f was, was a minor, so... The D was a major, and the G was a major as well. So depending on whether it was major or minor it would depend on just shifting up one tone, uh, a fret. So minor being major being, all right, you can see that A, A, C sharp, that's major, minor is C. And so I thought, wow, so I can, you know, okay, so anyway, so and Basically, it came down to a, 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 a tune like this, which sounded absolutely nice. So the D I'm loosely picking, I'm muting that A string with this side of my finger so that I, I have a bit more freedom to pick here. You'll see how he plays it. He's just like effortlessly. But anyway, so it, it, it came around something like this. even added in another melody but then so cool lesson awesome go check it out very nice but something a hack that I picked up from that was very nice was that my third will always be on that G string so I thought to myself man that means that whenever I'm playing okay the off the 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 one of the common things that we like to do is that we use this chord here, the B, the the bar chord, right? And what do we do? We go or so example that tune. And I thought, you know what? It could be so much nicer if I found those notes up here. So for example. So let's say I'm playing a tune and I made one up. So I said, okay, C, G, 
A F Okay And let's say I decide I want to add in a third just to spice it up, right? Now I know exactly where to find the third But now I already know within, within this key that I'm playing uh, I'm playing in the key of G And so the um, Starting off on the C It's a major So I know where to put my finger The G is a major as well, right? Because within G uh, So C It's the E Within G It's the B But then when it comes to A It's a minor because of the C And F is a major Because of the A Alright so instead of me going, you know, which just the sound, it gives a call for something, some high notes, which we like then to add in the third. So there you go. But then something else that I, that I found was looking just at A, the fifth of A is E. And guess where I find the E? Right below it. There it is. So instead of me going, I can go, and depending on whether it's major or minor, I would go. All right. Now, of course, on my acoustic guitar, doing that, I'm failing to get a clear note of the B. You might be on an electric, which you'll find just borrowing it just like that to get the E on that B string might be easier for you. So just for this, for this practice, I'm going to be doing that. All right, like that. So I know that C uh, will sound like, like this. I know that when I come down to the G, it's going to, it's going to also, it's going to be like this. I go to the A R notes and minor, so uh, I'm going to do that. But in actual fact, it it'll be easier for me now. I can just borrow, and I know that with the G, all right, because of its placement, I think I can get that bar down nicely. So now what I've done is I've just taken instead of me playing a bar chord, even adding in that third, instead of me going. So now I can go. And I can even add in like a nice sliding effect, which is pretty cool. Just a bit of practice and I'll get that together. But how nice already how I can just already spice up a chord just by understanding that on the B and the G string are lays my fifth and my third. Alright, and depending on which key I'm in, I'm going to adjust that for minor and major. So I hope you understand what I'm talking about. All right, so example, instead of I can go try and keep that low note uh, ringing out as well. I just need to put a bit of muscle into it eh? again. Anyway, so there you go. So that was kind of something that I pulled out of it. So whenever I'm song creating in that, it's, it's just something, it's a hack that I can look at a shortcut just to, a quick, quick hack, just to make something uh, that can be dull. That's just a minor. Make it a bit more interesting. Uh, add a bit more of that top note, nice, um, Yes, more, more full, I guess, uh, with my root note, bass note there. So anyway, I hope that has blessed you. Go check out the tutorial from Paul Davids, all right? 
and uh, I hope that that blesses you and improves your guitar tutorial. Comment below if that has helped you, if you discovered something else as well uh, that that has helped you with. Also try out uh, Paul David's uh, tune there, like I said, um, it, 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 it improves on your technique as well, gives you a full understanding of your fretboard and also get your fingers nice and loose. Alright, so with that said and done, guys like this video because I know you liked it and uh, to support what we're doing here, please subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.